you money? Yeah. What brings you here? I don't know. Phyllis made me come. My sister. Huh? She must be very persuasive. Don't tell me about yourself. I run a fabrics company. So you're the boss. That feel good? It feels... Phyllis has always been the strong one. You're a grown man hiding behind a wall of curtains. I think I can help you. The first thing I'm going to do is completely unethical. I'm going to give you a hug. No, I'm a hugger. There's no shame in feeling pain, Marty. Be the ruler of your own domain. Work begins at 9 a.m. sharp. Phyllis! I'm trying to be ruler of my own domain. This therapy is really working out, huh? It is. It really is. The goal of life is to live. We'll turn you into the man you truly deserve to be. This doctor's a little unconventional. He's a miracle worker. What is he doing here? Helping us. What do you think? So much fun. Is that allowed? Well, it didn't work, did I? He's changed my life. He's changed me. You clearly have a good eye. Me? You're the one with the good eye. Eyes. Two eyes. The, the, the appropriate quota of ocular spheres. <laughs> Why are we running? I don't know, Rod! You are growing, Marty! <laughs> Is he your psychiatrist? Psychiatrist, business partner, best friend. How does all of that work? He just has no boundaries, and I don't trust him. Cut her out of your life. She's the only family I have. Without trust, we have nothing. I trust you completely. This is my decision. He's living in your head. I am going to take care of everything. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah.